Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be going over the final quest of Act 7 Beta Quest 3. And honestly, out of the. Out of the. Um. Out of the three quests, this one has probably the least amount of bullshit, I'd say. So, I, I guess good job. So, really quick, I'm just going to go over the pass. First one, we got Pilfer and Power Alternator. So pilfer is if you take a buff, it like it has a twenty percent chance to nullify your buffs and give them some power. And then power alternators every fifteen seconds. If you have more power than them, um, your power is drained and then given to the other character. So pretty much make sure you don't have more power than them at that time. So like if it's about to switch and you have more power, just throw whatever special you have, or bring someone like Ghost. And if you're in Act Seven, you pff, hopefully have Ghost. Um, other than like someone like Brian Grant, if you don't have Ghost. I just wouldn't do Act 7. That's my advice. If you don't have Ghost, don't do Act 7. Just don't. Because if you made it through Act 6, you muscled through Act 6. I muscled through Act 6 with Ghost, and it was hard. And if you didn't have Ghost, yeah, it probably wasn't... It was probably a lot harder. So, yeah, if you don't have Ghost, my advice is just don't do it. If you don't, And if you don't have the Hood Synergy, this probably is going to be hard, but you probably have, like, a 5-star, 6-star Hood, just from line run somewhere. So, yeah, throw them in there. This path's pretty easy. Next path we got here is bullet time, and pretty much that's it. Well, in Thunder, I don't really even consider a node, but bullet time is basically if they're stunned, they remove the stun and gain an evade charge. So basically, it's like the reflection shield one, except I guess easier to deal with. Next one we have, this one's fun. I think this is a fun node. I think this is fun. Except there's one thing I don't like about it, Um, but it's recharge. So basically, you only gain power by holding block. And then they have power shield and invade. So invade kind of makes it a little bit sus, but you can play around it. Um, balls champion special attacks are unblockable. So basically, the way I did this node was, and you could this node is actually kind of fun. I think you basically just swipe back, hold block, and if they come at you because of the invade node, you don't really want to take blocks. You just gotta dodge it. And then if they back you up in the corner, you can just special two or special three, and it does a crap ton of damage, and it's unblockable. So yeah, I like this node. This node is fun. It's fun for someone like Corvus, where you can just get to special twos over and over again, and Ghost, you can just spam special twos. So that's a good node. I like that node. It's fun. Next, we got destructive feedback, and pretty much that's it. It's just destructive feedback. Um, there are any hard champions on this fight? There's a Domino. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, all right, we'll go. We'll talk about the mini bosses in a second. But path five is just thermostat and protection shield. Thermostat's a pretty easy node if you did it in Act Six. It's not that big of a trouble. Then you got past this one, do not go gentle and dash vulnerability. The fact that I added do not go gentle back is kind of scuffed and I don't like it. But if you have ghost, it's whatever. You can just ghost intercept and they don't have limber, so you can just parry. This one is um, tunnel vision, falter in mind, and oscillate. So it's basically just oscillate and tunnel vision. It's basically just don't do the same attack twice or you're going to miss. You're going to get it like a debuff on you just to make you miss your next hit. So you can die. So you got to just do like, just make sure you're doing like, medium light mediums or like only one combos or like ghost or signs so yeah um it's if you have ghosts it's not that bad but once again if you don't have ghost just don't do x7 we're gonna skip that path for a second this path so these last two paths kind of ruined the quest for me um so this one is thunderstruck and shockingly brilliant and shock tether three it's basically do you bleed but like with shocks it's like you don't do really any damage unless you have a shock on them which is kind of annoying because most champions don't have shock and shock tether is really scuffed it's basically to help you but it's such a like minuscule it's just not good it's if either of you have not made contact in six seconds you both gain a shock debuff so you can so if you bring a shock in character you can just wait it out and then do damage but it's only for three seconds and it goes by really quickly so it's just not good and then shockingly brilliant, any champion inflicted with the shock debuff lands guaranteed critical hits the duration of the shock debuff. Um, I don't know if that's true because I was using Doom and it didn't seem to be working, but. And then, so it's like, if, if you have Doom, it's not that bad because you have shocks and medium, but if, if you don't have Doom, this path is kind of scuffed. I don't like it because at least do you bleed, there's like a crap ton of champions that bleeds. There's only like a few that do shock. And some might say Nebula, but the problem with Nebula is you're going to take block damage trying to build up her charges, and since it's Act 7, you just take so much block damage, it's annoying. Then we go to the next node. This one is glitched, I think. They should fix it. If they don't fix it by the time it comes out, then this node, this path's going to be cancer, basically. It's basically, um, 
so it mixes in with this node, which is when you go down to zero power, you take like you pretty much die if you go down to zero power. But it's glitched because when the attacker is more than fifty percent of a full bar of power or just a full um, power bar, like your one and a half bars, you get a power gain buff, which makes you just like zoom up in power. And if you have over ninety percent power, you're immediately drained to zero and you die from this node. But I was using like my special one and special two when I still had like extra power left over and it would still just drain me fully and kill me. So it's like, you just die. If they fix it, it's not gonna be horrible, but if they don't fix it, then this is gonna be horrible. Because, here, I'll just show you a demonstration real quick on this magic. And you can, if they don't fix it, I feel like the only character that would even work is Quake. Because you can Quake this without taking any damage. But let me just show you real quick what I mean. So with Ghost, um, maybe I misread it or something, but I swear I'll have like extra amounts of power left and it'll still just kill me So I'm gonna get to like one and a half bars of power and throw a special and just look just look at this so I have if I get to zero power I die pretty much as the node. I have one and a half bars of power throw a special I take the damage. Why am, why did I go down to zero power? You see that? I, I just don't understand why I go down to zero power. It drained my power even though I still had an extra bar like This node is so glitched it actually doesn't make any sense, but yeah, it's really scuffed then we got the three minis. The three minis don't seem to be that bad. Um, I didn't do this mini actually, but if it if the node isn't fixed, then yes, this is going to be very glitched. So, but one thing very interesting to note is any of these three minis, you none of them have their th special threes active. This is just a massive ice man, so you just ghost it basically. This is a punisher, so you're just going to take block damage with spite. Um, but none of the three minis have this third special active, which I appreciate because they have some crazy power gain. But then you get to this Gwen Pyrian boss, and out of the three bosses, this is definitely the easiest if you have the right champions. Basically, is crazy power gain, and uh, crazy power gain, all that. But also has, has selective time stream. It is well, okay. It's basically a high Pyrian with the skin of Gwenpool. It's just high Pyrian with crazy power gain. But he doesn't have a special three active, so I don't know if that's a glitch. But if it's not, then this fight's not that hard. It's basically just a character with no special three, except he is poison immune because he's Hyperion basically. So you can't use something like Archangel. The selective time stream is the variant node, which is every 20 seconds. Um, all debuffs are fully re uh, removed fully and healed to full, unless you have an incinerate or shock on them. So you could, I don't know, domino this fight. You could have some shock like Doom. Doom could easily do this fight, I would say. But I just used Mysterio with his passive heal block. I think a Warlock could work with his passive heal block. This fight's very easy if they don't have their special 3 active. But none of the minis or the boss have special 3 active. So I don't know if they meant to do that or not. But if they did, then that's really good node design. Because of the amount of fucking power gain this guy gets. Um, you would just die. It would, it's just not fun. Because you'd have to like tank special 3s constantly. Because Hyperion doesn't want to throw specials most of the time. And you have to worry about selective time stream. It would just be a nightmare. Um, I think Doom could do it if there was no special three. But yeah, Mysterio, since there's no special three on, you could just use him, Warlock, super easy. Um, yeah, it's just anyone who can counter selective time stream is basically like, that. that's what this fight is. It's just a tele selective time stream normal fight with no special three active, so you can just push him to special three, it doesn't matter. So yeah, it's quest three. If they fix that lane, it's definitely the easiest one. Um, actually, let me try one thing, because I do remember, mm, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, I gotta try this just for a second, I need to get my Dr. Octopus, the, the, um, shock lane, I remember that, um, the shock lane in Act 6, I used Doc Ock, because it was, like, if you get a heal block on the opponent, then it will place a shock with, the, like, the 6.3 boost. Does the 6.3 boost work here? Or can you not use it? Oh, no, you can't use it. Okay, so that is annoying. So you pretty much just, like, use Doom. I don't like the Do You Bleed Shock bullshit because there's so few characters that shock. It's really cancer. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give a like and subscribe. Um, all in all, Act 7, if you have the right champions, um, it shouldn't be too bad because it's only three quests. Like, one of the hardest fights... Okay, look, okay, this is basically your requirements. If you have Archangel, Quake, Ghost, Full Synergies, 
you have an Aegon, and you have someone who can deal with the selective time stream. You have those five requirements. I'm pretty sure you can do every path with relative ease if you play like perfectly. So, oh, and you need a Doom for that shock land. So, I don't know. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, and subscribe. Um, if you have the right champions, Act 7, with only three quests, should be worth the rewards, hopefully. Hopefully the, hopefully the rewards are good. If you don't have the right champions, I would just stay away from it. It's just shit if you don't have the right... If you don't have the, like, the top champions that can deal with everything, it's just going to be too hard and just not worth it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.